This video, I'm going to be sharing with you a guided meditation that will open your third eye. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you exactly how to do that and then a meditation to help wire that in so that you have that experience for yourself. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a process that you can use in your own life to open up your third eye. And as the new style of these videos, I'm going to be doing what I've been doing, which is a, in the beginning, a five to 10 minute explanation of how we go about this process, the uh, kind of like the understanding of how to do it. And then the last part of it will be that of the actual meditation that'll help to wire it in. Now, let me say that recently, I have been studying the third eye way more than I normally do. Now, normally it's all about the practical tools towards understanding like how our story is creating our experience, beliefs create reality, how to transcend certain beliefs. And for the longest time, I kind of put this in the background because I've had a couple videos that I did a year or two ago that got almost a million views on that of the third eye and I realized that there's such a strong interest for people but I just felt like I wasn't as passionate about it so I put it in the background then what happened is recently I've been more interested in expanding my awareness when it comes to that of understanding the third eye some more of the esoteric type practices and it was actually my grandpa that explained to me and told me about these guided meditations and this process from what is called the Monroe Institute. So the Monroe Institute is something I've heard of before and it's been around for quite a while now and it deals with understanding how we can expand our awareness using meditations and exercises that help to see us more than that of just physical reality. Like to see us more as just uh, who we think we are. It kind of expands that perception. Now he and I had a conversation recently, my uh, grandpa, and he told me that in the 90s he did it and it really transformed his own consciousness and the way that he goes about doing what he does. Like he has a, he's always been kind of and had the ability to see auras. He's always had these, uh, well, he's developed and practiced that as well. But he's explained to me that if I did these meditations and I went through this process, that he was almost certain that it would expand my awareness and help me to see things from a completely new point of view. So I decided that what I was doing was gonna get those. So I got that CD set and it's hard to find and it's not cheap. It's uh, six CD sets, six CDs. I paid over, I got them on sale and I got a great deal on them and I paid almost $400 for them. So the reason I say this to you is because some of the information I'm gonna be sharing in this video is going to be stuff from that and just know it is a credible source. It's been around for a long time. You can read reviews on it. It's something that's very powerful and it's something that I wanna share with you guys in my own way by doing a guided meditation that uses some of the principles from it that can help you also expand your awareness and help you expand your and open your third eye. And before we get into that, that actual process, let me explain a little bit of my perception of the third eye itself. Now, normally the stereotypical way that we think about the third eye is we almost kind of put it on this pedestal and we think that it's this really mystical type experience that we must have and we get all these expectations to it. Now, not that the third eye is not mystical and not that we're not going to have uh, experiences beyond that of what we think to be like possible, like we can really open up to a whole new reality, but it's about understanding, let's understand the philosophy of the third eye first. So the third eye we think of as right here. This is something that has been shown the symbolism in many different religions, many different spiritual practices in their own interpretation. But nonetheless, think of it as duality. Opening the third eye, we must close ourselves to duality. Now, this doesn't mean resist duality. It means be aware of duality. Think of duality as the left eye, the right eye, the left brain, the right brain, the light, the dark, all of these different polarized ideas are a part of duality. Now, we think of that towards the left and the right eye. Now, the third eye is that which is single, that is right above. It's right, it's a pineal gland, and what it's inside of the brain. And what we can think of this as, as when we close our eyes to duality, we then open our third eye. We open to a higher level of perception. Now, the reason I like to explain it like this is because for a lot of people, it takes out the mysticism and thinking that it has, to, it has to be something that is so far unrelatable. 
What I'm saying is it can be much more relatable by understanding who we are at a deeper level because at the deepest level, we are consciousness. That is who we are. And when we start to understand that that which we've experienced in our life, that which we give importance to, which may be giving importance to the events that happen in our life and thinking that we are just our physical body, that will keep us tied in duality. Now, the first key to that of transcending duality is learning to observe your thoughts and learning to see them from a neutral point of view because everything in life is fundamentally neutral. When we shift to this perspective, we start feeling less charged by that of the th of the of duality. We feel less charged by the things that are happening. So the first step to this process is more so learning to observe our thoughts from a neutral point of view because when you do that, we and when we do that, what we do is we start to see things and we start to feel differently as well because we're not being pulled in different directions with that of things that are happening in our life. We're less affected by the external and we're more centered in the internal or more centered on who we really are. So this is about understanding as well that what it really is about is transcending that of the ego, transcending of the ego's limits because the ego will say, oh, that's not real. The third eye, all of this stuff, that how can that logically be real? But that's a logical point of view that will only get you to the rims of that of the ego. And the ego is very limiting. So the key is to be aware of duality and to also plant seeds of knowing that you are more than your physical body. You are more than just the ego. And when you start to understand this, this is something we're going to be doing in the meditation is I'm going to be helping to facilitate wire this idea in. This is something that they do as well in the Monroe Institute in the Monroe Institute uh, CDs is you get to a certain level of relaxation and you remind yourself that you are more than your physical body. Because by doing that and getting to a theta state, which is the deepest level of brainwave activity and reminding yourself of that, you start to program that into you. You start to go, I am more than my physical body. I just believed so much in this, this 3D world of duality that I've given it so much importance that therefore I create more and more of that experience in my life. So this is about first off being aware of that because in the awareness is where we can really decide to change. Now, the third eye is something that also must be balanced out because think of it like this. We have a chakra system. The third eye is one of those chakras. And we have that of chakras above it. And we have that of chakras below it. Now, in order to really experience a third eye opening, one thing we must also do is clear out the emotions and the chakras below it. This is something that's not very often talked about, but think about it like this. What we must do with our third eye in order to really open it is we must balance out that of the root chakra, which is the root chakra is kind of like the one that is very at the bottom of like our spine to that of the throat chakra. Now think of it like this, the first chakra, the fifth chakra is from certain interpretation. We could say that the root chakra is the first chakra. This is the fifth chakra. The first chakra plus the fifth chakra, which is the throat chakra equals the third eye chakra, which is the sixth chakra. So think of it like we must balance out these two and ground ourselves in order to then go deeper into that of opening the third eye. So how do we do that? Well, what we can begin to do is we can begin to do certain ways of grounding ourselves, making ourselves more present to the body, present to the moment. So becoming more inside of the body rather than being so identified with everything else. Part of the meditation we're going to do is to help to wire these in. And when we do that, we start to see that we can start to loosen up. Think of the, the fifth chakra, that of the throat, as the, a chakra of freedom, of understanding expression, how we can express ourselves. And when we start to ground ourselves, plus feel that freedom, loosening up that of the physical reality of what is real and what is not real, that's when so much in our life will begin to change. So me, for example, I've been expanding, I've been doing these meditations every night the last couple weeks now, and I've definitely felt a big expansion in my perception. And let me share with you a couple side effects of this. The first one is you're gonna to start to feel more creative. It's one of the most easy ones. 
I realized that I used to always believe in myself as well. I used to believe that I wasn't a very visual person. And because I believed I wasn't such a visual person, I would then create the experience that that was the case. But what I encourage you to do as well is to pay attention to any beliefs that you have about this process, any expectations you have about the third eye opening. And be aware if you say, I'm not a visual person, I'm not this type of person, that is the ego speaking. That is the ego telling you what it thinks it knows about you. And when you observe those thoughts, you realize, I am more than my physical body, I am more than my ego. And when you remind yourself of this mantra, you start to then gain this ability to open up your perception at a higher level. So be aware of your beliefs, be aware of your expectations, observe your thoughts, start to pay more attention to that of the observation. Know that everything in your life is a matter of perception. Everything is fundamentally neutral. You are so much more than you can even imagine. And the third eye is the gateway to that experience. And that's why we are about to do that meditation. I think is so powerful. Now there's another part of this that I think is so often misunderstood and misrepresented. And that is knowing that there is also within our body, within our heart center, that what we can begin to do is also connect our heart to that of our third eye. Because the thing is, is the mind can only take us so far. And what the Heart Math Institute has shown is that the electromagnetic energy around that of the heart is thousands of times more powerful than that of the head. So what I encourage, what I'm going to be doing in this meditation is also connecting, helping to facilitate us connecting to that of our brain, to our heart, to create a heart and brain coherence. Because as we create that coherence, we expand our energy field and then we really expand outside the limits of our body. So this is something that once again, I think can really help you to per expand your own perception, realize that you are more than you can even imagine. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get into the guided meditation where we can learn and start to embody more of this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the energy in our heart. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start to relax certain parts of our body, get into a deep state of relaxation. Then there's going to be a certain thing I'm going to ask you to repeat in your mind. You can just repeat it in your mind. And that mantra is going to help. It's kind of the mantra I already shared with you about knowing that you are more than your physical body. And that as you begin to do that, we're going to do a visualization exercise of then adding in certain lights into our third eye and then connecting that to our heart. There'll be a period of exploration where you can pay attention to what signs, what messages your third eye has for you. Because really, the true information comes from within you. So there's nothing I can tell you that you at a deeper level don't already know. So what I want to help you do is connect to that of your heart and your third eye. And by doing so, you're connecting to your own intuition. And from there, you'll find that you go on your own exploration of it. So this, like I said, is from the teachings of something that I paid quite a bit of money for, but I want you to get value from it as well in a little bit different way than, you know, I can't just give you the actual CDs or anything. There's six of them. And uh, yeah, I can't legally can't do that as well. So this is my version of implementing that and adding value to you as well. So let's go ahead and get into the meditation. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a deep breath in, a deep breath out, and we're going to feel ourselves relax. So let's take a deep breath in right now. Go ahead and breathe out, feel your body relax more and more. With every breath you take, you will feel your body sink deeper and deeper into more relaxation. Now put your hands on your heart and begin to feel inside of your heart center. Because the more you feel in your heart center, the more you are growing the electromagnetic energy around your body, the more you are feeling present in the moment. Now let's take another deep breath in, deep breath out. Breathe it out and feel yourself go deeper and deeper, more relaxed. Now I invite you to close your eyes if you can and to feel how relaxing it feels to close your eyes, how warm it feels behind your eyelids, how much your body is sinking into a deep relaxation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the sensation to certain parts of our body 
to relax ourselves even deeper. Feel the sensation now around your head. Feel it in your forehead. Feel it begin to relax. Begin to squeeze your forehead and feel it relax. Now put the awareness behind your eyelids and relax your eye muscles. Bring the awareness to your jaw, loosen up your jaw and feel it relax even deeper. Now bring the awareness into your throat and feel your throat relax. Deep relaxation now flowing down into your left hand, your left arm your right hand, your right arm. Now feel the sensation inside of your heart center and feel now that increase in vibration in your heart. And feel it as if there's a ball of energy that is spinning faster and faster in your heart center, speeding up your vibration. You can feel this energy with more and more intensity. Now put the awareness into your stomach. With every breath you take, you can feel yourself relaxing more and more. Put the awareness in your left leg, your left foot. Relax your toes. Feel your left leg becoming heavier and heavier, more relaxed. Feel your right leg become heavy and in a deep relaxation. Feel your right foot begin to relax, relax your toes. And now understand that your body is in a very relaxed state. Now, we are going to connect that of our head to our heart and create a heart and mind coherence. So now take in a deep breath and imagine that as you take a deep breath, you are feeling this energy, this breath go through your body, to go through your head, and to then go around down to your toes. So this breath is moving around your body in a circular type way. So take a deep breath in. Goes through your heart and through your head. And as you breathe out, you let go of any stale air that no longer serves you. Breathe in again. Feel yourself let go of any stale air, any energy that you can let go of. Now imagine that there's a ball of energy, a sphere around your whole body. And this sphere of energy contains within it your consciousness. But become aware now that your consciousness is actually so much further beyond that of which you priorly thought. Become aware and repeat in your mind that I am more than my physical body. I am more than my ego. Now repeat it in your mind again. I am more than my physical body. I am more than my ego. Now understand that your life, that what you experience in your life is limited by your attachments to your beliefs, to believing that you are only your ego, to believing in your limitations, and set the intention now 
that you begin to perceive more than you priorly did. Set the intention that you can begin to observe everything in your life from a more neutral point of view. And that by doing so, you will begin to see duality for what it is. Repeat after me in your head again. I am more than my physical body. I am more than my ego. Now imagine there is a ball of energy inside of your third eye that between your eyes you can feel a vibration. You start to feel this tingling sensation in your third eye and the more you put your awareness here the more you are growing that energy. Now imagine this ball of energy in your third eye begin to spin in a clockwise position and the faster it spins the more you feel this tingling sensation and the more you feel the awareness of your third eye. Now imagine this ball of energy spinning faster and faster and what I'm now going to do is I'm going to count from 1 to 10 and with every number I count you are going to feel this more and more. You're going to feel your third eye opening and you're going to feel more creative. You're going to feel more connected to this intuition than ever before. One, feel it now inside your third eye. You can feel that tingling sensation. Two, with every number I count, you can feel an increase in your third eye center. Three, feeling this energy spin faster and faster. Four, begin to feel this now spinning, beginning to expand its energy field. Five, six, seven, feeling this energy now, feeling more and more warmth inside of your third eye. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now imagine that this ball of energy inside of your third eye is beginning to expand more and more. And now it is all around your body. Now soak in this energy and know that you can ask your third eye any question that you want and you will begin to see a symbol of the answer and begin to communicate now in this way. Ask yourself any question that you have and listen for the answer. Ask your third eye what you can do to open it more and more and pay attention to the answer.
Now set the intention that this connection with your third eye continues even after this meditation and set the intention that you start to become more creative, more intuitive, you start to perceive of more in your life after this meditation. Set the intention that you are forever changed and that from this point going forward, you will perceive of so much more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count down from five to one. With every number I count, you're going to feel yourself becoming more alert, more present to the moment, knowing you've now connected with your third eye in a completely new way. Five, start to feel yourself now become more present and to here and now. Four, feel the energy now flowing through your body. Three, go ahead and wiggle your toes, start to move around. Two, open up your eyes now. One, now you are present to the moment. You've connected to your third eye in a completely new way. Understand that if you do this for 21 days, I believe you're really going to start to see things in your life begin to change because you start to pattern yourself for knowing that you are more than your physical body. You are more than your ego. And when you start to become more open-minded to that of your third eye, to that of this intuition connection that you already have, things begin to change in a very powerful way. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing more live Q and A's. If you want to ask me questions about this, if you want to also become part of live meditations on Instagram. So you'll see my Instagram right here. You can follow me there if you want to have more of an interaction. And other than that, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little notification gear so that you can see the new videos and the new meditations that I do. And other than that, as always, peace, much love, and namaste.